Hello everyone, I, I'm making this video today to to just briefly go into one of the biggest deceptions that is creeping into the church, quite often through the music. Now I understand that there's, when you, when you go on YouTube, that there's music on there, listening to worship music, and then along comes in the playlist Jesus Culture or Bethel Music and the list goes on. Now, of course, there's many good worship songs out there, and there are modern songs that are good worship songs. Some of them, like Stuart Townend, are theologically sound, but there are many that are not. And through some of these cult movements, like Bethel and others, we are getting this bad theology and hypnotism some of these things are actually cults they're not christian i mean there's many cults there's many cults online and there's many cults that are quite old you know like jehovah's witnesses mormonism uh seventh day adventists pretty much hebrew roots which are more probably more recent in terms of on their online behavior but actually they're very old because hebrew roots goes back to the days of early christianity that's what the book of Galatians pretty much is written about and what Peter was rebuked for. Anyway, so we need to look at some of these tactics that cults use. Hypnosis. Now, I, I recently, the reason I bring this up today with Bethel and others is I recently went to a Christian event just to observe for Christian journalism purposes. And I and I went in there and I listened and I watched people and I gauged kind of what was going on. And it was very hypnotic. Look at this, repetitive music with certain speeds of sound. Um, so I went and I observed. And there's an atmosphere that is produced um, that they claim is the Holy Spirit, but actually it's very effective, targeted, psychological, brainwashing, hypnotism, uh, and it's very, very intentional. And so they purposely create an atmosphere, and they claim that it's an atmosphere of heaven, uh, but it is actually very targeted mind control so this is the sort of stuff that's going on and even though i knew i knew somewhat what was going on i could see that it was manipulative i could see i could see the kind of things that were going on and people getting drawn into it. i was getting drawn into it and i was thinking to myself why even though i understand that there's something off about this and the doctrine's off there's something seductive Something was drawing me in, in my flesh. Something, you know, was drawing me towards it. And when we read in the book of Revelation about the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, and so we've got this here, the symbolic reference, the teaching of the Nicolaitans refers to dominating the people. So this doctrine that is hated according to the book of Revelation by Jesus refers to the dominating of the people now the dominating of the people this is tied in to the heavy shepherding movement which is part you know part and parcel with the new apostolic reformation the NAR which a lot of these you know these groups and these cults and these movements we've been talking about a lot of them are NAR, which is basically the reason why it's dominating with heavy shepherding is because uh, they believe that they are modern day apostles. Therefore, you can't question them. And quite often with the heavy shepherding, they micromanage every, you know, every aspect of people's lives and they, they dominate. So we've got this idea here of dominating the people compared to the teaching of Balaam, which refers to seducing the people. 
So we've got these two sides here of dominating on one side and seducing on the other. So it's like the push-pull, the Jezebel spirit. Remember, we looked into that before, this push and pull manipulating people. And so, you know, and also it makes me think of with that um, dominating the Hebrew roots movement and the legalist type of thing. So we've got the serpent and the dragon, essentially. The, the serpent seduces the people and the dragon destroys and dominates the people. So we've got kind of a link there of the serpent and the dragon, of these last days deceptions uh, of Jezebel in the church. And these are some of the ways we have to we have to be very aware of this brainwashing and mind control, essentially MK Ultra is being used on these people in the name of Christianity and this is why it's so so awful it's so so evil and horrendous you know what's going on and speaking of Bethel in California there's often people that come away from being part of this movement who come away changed they come away brainwashed in my experience and uh, you know they there's people associated with this that believe in heretical false doctrines such as ca uh, Pentecostal oneness where they don't believe in the triune God, Father, Son and Holy Ghost, uh, three in one, God in three persons. They don't believe this. They believe that God manifests in different ways. And this is a false doctrine. It's not the same God. It's not the God of the Bible. It's not the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And so also they come away with all sorts of mind control as we've been talking about. Um, you know, they'll start to, their mind gets all superstitious and it gets, a paranoia sets in. We've got people who believe that gold dust forms in their Bible and that's a sign and wonder. Uh, we've got people who believe that um, a f when they're praying a feather floats down in the room and that feather is from their guardian angel. These things play on people's minds. All this kind of wacky stuff that comes in, uh, it's mind control. We've got other people who believe that if you lay on an anointed deceased person's grave that you can suck the anointing from out of their dead body. I mean, to us, to us, it sounds ridiculous, but not so much when you're stuck in this witchcraft, which is posing as Christianity, and it is dangerous, and it is. These are real souls that are caught up in this, so we we have to expose this for what it is, and it is just devastating the body of Christ. So look for some of these things, peer group pressure, groupthink, labels, we are NAR, we are this, we are that, we are Hebrew roots. You know, instead of it being about we are lovers of Jesus Christ and we are one body uh, as born again believers, it's kind of like labels. Love bombing, another part of that seduction, rejection of old values. And you see some of these things, because these are cults, these are stealing. Remember, the, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. These are stealing the principles of true Christianity and perverting them into something that is obscene and, and horrific. You know, so this is the way the enemy does it. Like, when we think about uh, order out of chaos... And the elite's use of that term, that is stolen from a true biblical principle of that God brings order out of chaos in our lives when we're saved by Christ. Christ is the true order out of chaos, out of a sinful life into a new life, into peace. But the, they pervert it, they invert it. Uh, problem, reaction, solution. They have perverted problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution as a true principle is a problem is our sin. The reaction is call out to Christ. 
and the solution is his death and resurrection, for example. You know, they, these principles are neutral in themselves, but the elite pervert them and use them for witchcraft. Or well, basically the enemy does. So rejection of old values, that's a good principle because we should reject our old life. You know, the old things are passed away, all things have become new. But in these cults, it runs parallel. It counterfeits, it copies. We see this over and over again. So these cults, they will use this these methods to your destruction instead of to new life, which, you know, we find in God. Uh, and other things, you know, they manipulate by metacommunication, uh, confusing doctrine, these weird doctrines, new age doctrines, treating you like a child, uh, childlike behaviour childlike behavior um, which you'll see I'm gonna show you this in a second in and all these things you know in this um, in this Christian festival that I went to m most you know some people didn't sleep for the entire weekend so they are much more suggestible because they were sleep deprived and, uh, you know, so we saw all of these things going on and chanting and singing, you know, mantras over and over again, chanting mantras, repeating the same words over and over. These songs, a lot of them are just so weak on their doctrine that they're just basically singing I love you over and over again. There used to be a time that singing songs and hymns were like singing theology and were, were full of hidden treasures and meat now we have a gooey airy fairy sentimental idea of worship and praise and you'll see I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you in the next few minutes a clip from one of these festivals Christian festivals and you know, I'll show you how this music itself is being used as hypnotism and manipulation and where that's leading and, and what it all ties in with. Essentially, a lot of these people are, you know, these big new apostolic reformation leaders are at least tied to the Pope and the Catholic Church or they may be Jesuits themselves or Freemasons, I don't know. But you definitely you see this link to the Catholic Church and the Jesuits through a lot of these. So essentially, what I think this is, you know, is actually like a plan, a scheme to destroy Protestant Christianity, to bring in heresies on purpose, you know, to divide and conquer and to seduce people into the false religion of the Antichrist. Uh, the, the adulterous woman, as the Bible describes, that is a picture of the Jezebel, uh, essentially the false religion, the false doctrine, which is seducing people by the serpent to destruction, the dragon. And, you know, this is, this is serious stuff. We need to be very, very discerning about this in our time. And we're talking here today about Bethel um, and the connections with Bill Johnson, who has taught many false doctrines, um, Bill Johnson, and here the connection to the Jesuits and this false teaching. You just watch this, guys. Watch the mind control in uh, this Bethel music event and the connections of Bethel and these movements to the Roman Catholic Church. has redefined the word love. It now means acceptance of all false religions, tolerance of all sinful behavior, tolerance of false doctrines, 
refusal to rebuke and expose anyone, and to never offend with the truth. Apostolic Reformation leaders are at least tied to the Pope and the Catholic Church, or they may be Jesuits themselves or Freemasons. Definitely, you see, linked to the Catholic Church. 